Hello and welcome to the amazing the race. The amazing race, the last one. The finale. The finale. And we don't know how long. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Well, we had the finale. Yes. And should we wait and see? I'll, I'll wait to see your reaction because we haven't really talked about your reaction. No, we yet. haven't. Um, well, they start out, you got three teams left, right? True. And they're heading to New Orleans. Right. I've never been, you've been, you've been, you've been to New, New Orleans, right? yes. New Orleans, New, Back New in, Orleans. Well, we, when I was in the Ice Cream shows, like, I think I was like 79, 78, whatever it was, Ooh, um, we played Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge. Uh, and then we all went to Bourbon Street. And uh, for an 18-year-old girl who was sheltered, it was quite an experience for me. Mm -hmm. But I don't, they didn't do throwing beads. That must be something that came later on. It during Mardi Gras. Oh, that's right. Anyway. <laughs> it was all the time. Yeah, they're just. Oh, that's right. I figured out it was Easter and Easter. Mardi Gras is usually during an Easter yeah. Lent season. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Um, well, so mm -hmm. Riley and Madison get because they all they all do the same thing. Taxi, taxi, <laughs> that and all right. That always bugs you, doesn't it? It always bugs me because. But, but anyway, I but when you come, because well, in places that we've been, and maybe other states are different. Usually, you walk out, and there's a section for the taxis. You don't have to even say taxi. No. You go in there. It's in, very in, unless, it's unless, very unless they have to. Eat, there's taxis put aside for them. I don't no, know. No, because there's a there's a procedure that you do. You get in line yeah, but and that, you wait for the next would, available that, that taxi. Would, that would be pretty boring watching them wait, wait in line for 45 minutes going, who's going to get the first cat? That's anyway, true. all right. Uh, Riley and Madison get out first. Uh, the boyfriends are right behind them and Chung and he are third. But that didn't last long. No, because, it didn't. Uh, <laughs> Not like, what is it? Like last maybe five minutes? They got Old Man River driving their taxi yeah. cab. Riley and Madison. They go, oh, yeah. Because the boyfriend. The thing passing. that bugs me every time, I hate that the cab or the taxi is the reasons why people can't are not, and it, and you see it every time. But I would have said, look, just I'll pay you extra. Stick, keep up with them. Right. He didn't even seem to care. But they didn't have like they didn't say, don't let the next one go, don't let the next one. It, it seemed like I don't know if it was edited that well. I wrong. Think that or they just they're just too nice. Because Nobody's that nice. Because they oh you have the one third because really. How they finished the how cab. How they start it in the cabs. Well, no. Well, how, how they how kind of like five minutes in, in start it. Is how it is. And then end it. Yeah. And which I would never, if you would have told me, I wouldn't, I really thought it was going to be between the boyfriends and the beard um, brothers. Beard, beard brothers, yeah. Yeah, I really thought it was going to be between those. I never in a million years would I think um, Chi and um, Hung would be in, in that. Against these three. Yeah, because, against the, yeah. Because they had been fading towards the end. Yes. They, they didn't have, they weren't as good as they no, were. No, they weren't in the beginning, the beginning, right. But Riley and Madison, their cab driver is just so slow. Right. And uh, he's probably going the speed limit. And he gets, kind of gets lost. He overshot. So they jump out of the cab, but they're in the wrong spot. Yeah. So, so they kind of hurt themselves by getting out of the cab, but at this point, I think... But I think when you're frustrated and you know like you're behind and people have already are ahead of you, that you you, you just kind of just do what you think is the right thing to do. And because you know it's not... Obviously, it's not elimination. Right. You don't... You you have to... You have Ooh. to... Uh, Excuse you, me. Yeah. <laughs> you have to... You can't make any mistakes no. on this race. Well, right. They, they made... That mistake the and that was made it. a mistake and then yeah. they made a mistake and they were done. Yeah, they were done. So you, you get you get the clue... And you have to get 50 red beads, 50 gold right. beads. Right, and then they have to get a certain... Um, they have to match. They have, well, no, certain bead size. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there was all kinds of beans, ones being thrown, but the ones they needed were the certain bead size. Right, they had to match the Grand Marshal. Right, and, and they had the bigger beads. And they didn't did. read the clue. No. Again. Again. Match exactly. That, Shocker! Was that, what, was that the fourth or fifth time Chi yeah. and Hung didn't read a clue? Well, it's also Riley and Matt. I mean... I mean Because uh, Riley and Madison, look like they understood it right away. Riley and they, Madison they got they it right had away. all the beads. Right. Right. It was uh, the boyfriends and Chung and he didn't get it right, right. the first time. Right. But I think before they... Before they... Um, before they got their check, uh -huh. I think the boyfriends realized it. Yeah, because they were really close together in their little three little... Yeah. Um, because Hung and Chi, I mean, I don't know if it was editing, but Hung and Chi had 50 beads each first. Right. But then they, they go, oh no, we did it wrong. It well, they told him no. He, yeah. They went to the Grand Marshal and he, he said, said no. no. So they did it Then they realized, they, they reread the clue yeah, and then like, realized... Oh, it has to be... Right. Again, read the clue. Um, so, but boyfriends finished first, uh, Chung and he second. Riley and Madison finally showed up. It didn't seem like they were that far behind. And I, at that point, no. At that point, they weren't too far behind. Right. You got to think, okay, if they had got the cab. The right if, cab? If, if their cab had finished first. Huh. And they had read the clue, because cool. they got it right the first time. Right. From what we saw, would they have been in first place going into the... Uh, the I uh, said, yes. The, uh, what is wrong with it? Maybe I sat down, I'm yawning. Is it because you're talking? It could, it could be. It could be. <laughs> Um, but was it, could, could they have got to the, was it King Cake Challenge first? 
I mean, oh, I don't it, know. But, well, I guess we'll never know. Right. But um, anyway, so... That's what would be good to watch that, that, that you've been doing lately, watching the exit interviews. Well, I've been watching exit interviews of the podcasters right. and just listening to what they were saying and stuff right. like that. All right. So we, we talked to Will and James, but Will had a huge advantage. Will and James, because Will had been to New Orleans before. Correct. Especially when it came to the king cakes, it's baked with a, it's a cake with a little baby cooked in So, so that's a normal thing. They just didn't put that for that. That wasn't just for that no, it's, leg it's, of the race. It's, that, that's it's a normal, normal thing, thing that's done. Yeah. What if What's the did, purpose what? of it? It's, it's supposed to be like baby Jesus. Oh, okay. It? I guess. Right. Okay. I don't know. It's New Orleans. They have their own set of rules. But but I just, I, what happens if you don't know the rules and you eat the baby Jesus? If that's supposed to be the baby Jesus and you choke on him. Oh, good point. But you know, like when my old, in the, when I was a kid, I had my grandma Jenny, she would make those kind of things, but she had hard boiled eggs in them and it was very cool. I always want to do that for our grandkids, but I haven't done it yet. I, I was so excited every year I'd get one. A hard boiled egg. It was a colored the eggs were oh, colored Easter, okay. Easter eggs, and it would be sitting in the. My, it was it's bread. It was really good. And you had to find it. No, it was sitting right there in display. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, what? but I I, I I think Will knowing the size of what the because he goes, he goes I know exactly how the big this looks. I don't think the other two knew. No. In fact, uh, is it was it right? Uh, it was Madison said he did. Oh, when he saw when he saw cheese, he goes, "Oh, that's the size." Yeah. Of it. Right. He was thinking of probably a bigger baby right. and big clump. So anyway, they're going, they're going. And it was cute because when, when uh, what's the guy's name? Is it Chi or is it Hung is his name? I, I don't know why I get confused Chi, with it. It's Chi. Chi. Uh, when he tells her, I'm going to do it because the baby's going to be heavy. Did yeah, you remember yeah. that part? I was just like, what's the thing? He's carrying a baby he's around. so heavy. <laughs> oh, you know, he's probably thinking it's maybe. I know. Maybe. <laughs> he's been carrying the backpack the whole time. I thought I thought it was probably. It, for but him, you learned that the they only brought one backpack. Yeah, you learned they, they did only bring. Uh, well, one, the man with the plan told us they only brought one backpack. That's really interesting. That makes sense because I think that's difficult to bring that around everywhere, and they and it didn't look like a very big backpack. No, they they brought just enough to get by. Right. So they do their laundry because they all were wearing the same things yeah, every I, single day. Yeah, you, I guess you just wash it in the shower, the sink, or something like that, at the hotel, and dry it off, and move on, and just you know. Uh, just pen on me under the door. You're for it. Like, <laughs> you're racing for a million dollars. You, you go away for two days. You bring enough stuff. You're like, you're worse than a chick. You have like tons of socks, uh, tons of underwear. I, I'm prepared. Okay. That's I am prepared. All right. Um, so. <laughs> so. I throw you off there? You, you threw me off. So, uh, Will and, Will, Will and uh, James are off to a big start. He's, a huge he's already, he's start. I wish I knew exactly. Yeah, he's. He's already gone like through 20 cakes before Chi gets there. Right. And before Riley gets right. there, it's almost done. But they're all there at the same time, at least. So at you're one thinking, point, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you're thinking, okay. If you can't okay. find the cake, right. maybe there'll be some right. suspense because... Right. Because that's always been the fun part about watching The Amazing Race in the finale, is that I'm like, let's go, 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 Because yeah. I'm like yelling at the TV, yeah, but, and I felt, just like the season, wah, wah. Yeah, it, it was, there was no... There was no drama. There no, was nothing. nothing. There. It was just like so, okay. And I don't know. It's because I always tell, I always ask you who won or not in the before I start to watch it. So I don't know if that's the reason why I'm not like as, as you know crazy about you, you it. Did that last time we watched. That's it. true. You're right. I never thought that. You're right. Never mind. I'm always that way. But Will finds the baby, but he doesn't show Chi. Yes. The size, which I thought was smart. Yep. But then, oh my gosh. Yeah, he's eating the baguettes. No, the chi, the the, the beignets, the beignets, the beignets. and I, those look absolutely delicious. Yes. But I don't know if I could still be this eating is, this mine is, this is when, when Will was <laughs> gagging. <laughs> it's like a little, like a little, the baby was bigger than the piece he couldn't but swallow. There is, you know how I have just a sound to throw up? Like yeah. in the, if I'm watching a TV show or a movie, I have to shut. I have to fast and forward it. And they become more graphic in television. Yes. To throw up. So one night there was like four times I'm like, come on. Anyway, so the whole time I'm thinking if I was with you, and you were gagging like that, I would throw, I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to finish the baguettes. Well, James had to eat four of them. Right. Because there were two, three each, Bignet, right? Bignet, yeah. Beignets. Beignets, yes. I, I said baguettes. So okay, sorry. But beignets, they look good to me. They look delicious. They're like powdered donuts. Like, I can't eat them. I can't eat them. But I think sometimes when you know you have to swallow, like sometimes you like you have pills, you're trying to swallow and you can't. So I could see where that would be a problem. Yeah. The worst part is cheese baby. Is sitting on right. Oh my gosh! On the edge of the table. Oh my gosh! But you said that that you learned. Yeah, Hung and Chi said that with the, her and Madison were going back and forth, saying yeah, they, they were so loud that they made them go outside. Now the producers of Amazing Race made so, them go outside because they, they didn't want them to. They didn't want Chi to hear it. Dear. So 
Yeah, so you got that. So you, you don't see it, but that's what happened. That would that would be so hard for me. That would be so because it's they, right there. If it slipped out and they heard it, would they get a penalty? I guess it would depend if Madison did. Well, because you are affecting the race, right? So I think there would be. Mm -hmm. But if if Madison said, you know, slipped and said it's right there, he doesn't see it on the edge of the table. Right. I think they would have to be punished, not Chung and he. Okay. I'm hung. In, I'm sorry, hung and she. Right. I'm being you now. Hung and she would have been. I don't know how that would work out because. Okay. Well, they took him out just to make sure. Uh, he finally finds it. Right. He goes. Oh, and and it was there. Like he goes. Oh, it was, he said like it was there the whole time. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. It was. And yeah. he, he had to go back through. He he went back through like, the, all the cakes and yeah. like one at a time. Just I, the whole time though, I was thinking like, oh my god, so, the so of this, food they're and, wasting. So at this point. The race is over. Yeah, unless pretty much. Some, unless something, something has drastic, like the, like like how it always at the end where they have to figure out the the cities like that. Where sometimes that kind of brings it where it's difficult to for them to put it all together. But yeah, I'll they've all gotten so wise in this amazing race. They have all their notes. They know everything they're doing yeah. towards the end. So it's very rare for them to right. miss that stuff like that. Um, but he gets his baby. Uh, so now you have to go. You have to climb up a hundred eighty foot bridge, jump off, grab the clue over the Mississippi River. Right, and River. so if you did the cake. Then that person right. could not do the bridge. Right. And to me, I was like going, okay, yeah, this is, it's scary, but they sh I thought they should have had the clue out further. I don't think from the way they were sitting and the way the angle of the, I, I heard, because you told me that when we talked about it before I watched it, um, but I think the way they were sitting and the angle, I don't think they would have been able to grab it because it just, it was a, it was like you reach and then fell. So I don't. I see what you're saying. But you're to me, saying it. it's the it's the finale. You got because there have been other races where you had to jump out and grab something. And right. You can't grab it. So you felt like it should have been a little more. You felt like everything was really easy. There was I, no I, difficulty I, in I any thought, of the stuff. I thought it was real, especially for Will, because again, he at the King Cake Challenge, he knew what he was looking right, well, for. Right. And, and you and you can't guess that. That's that, that just okay. That right. was that was just luck. That's, yeah. But to me, that jumping out thing, because it, it all three of them were afraid of heights. True. All three of them didn't like. Riley right. didn't like it. Right. Uh, Hung doesn't like right. it. And and and, and James, James, oh, James didn't like it. Right. Make it a. I'm not saying it has to be so far up, but why can't they just? Couldn't they stand up and jump out it mm. on it or something? Yeah, why couldn't they have been something where? Okay. I'm sure somebody practiced it, and they might have had. I'm sure there were some things that they did beforehand, and then they realized that this is how it had to be done, as it was too difficult. Yeah. Anyway, I, to me, or have it where it's going up and down, up and, and you have to, you know, where maybe time it, time, yeah. and you have to time it at least okay. so, something. Where, yeah, I thought I was something where oh, I messed it. No, yeah. I gotta go all the way right. back down. I gotta come right. all the way like back. Like when down. they did that first the challenge, where they were at, where they had to see that they didn't know they had to read those words. Yeah, right. Words right, right, right. The, the scrabble that word together. There were things in the race that were harder than this final. I would agree with you. Challenge. I would the agree. Final with you. leg of the race. Right. But anyway. Um, well, uh, James grabs it, which I'm glad for because he's yeah. terrified of heights. Absolutely. You could hear it when he was screaming. Oh, my God. <laughs> it really, I was like, oh, my God, that poor guy. You could just hear it in his voice. <laughs> and then they have to propel down to the uh, rappel down to the bottom of the thing. They need to get the big, 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 big giant ball. ball. And at this point, Hung and Chi aren't there yet. Riley and Madison aren't no. there yet. And you're like, going, okay, so unless, you unless this thing at the end is it's just, just so difficult. difficult, right? it's not going to happen. So they, right. ha they have to make a globe. Uh, they have to make uh, build a globe or a puzzle piece, right, of, of the, the earth. Of the earth, and it and to me, and they were again, they were smart. They stuck to study their geography beforehand. Yep. But I think everyone know everyone pretty much knows how the globe would look. I don't. Well, I mean, the pieces. All you do is match the pieces up. I know that, but still, I was just like I I, I would have had to learn some geography. I was really bad in school with those things, so. Yeah. I learned it more from all the stuff I learned from those things are from you. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it, it wasn't. But again. They were prepared. They they yep. they studied everything. Yeah, you can't begrudge fans. them winning. Because, oh no no no! You know, um, James has been been a fan since he was eleven. He said he he applied nine to ten times. Um, it's kind of like a, almost as many times as you applied for Survivor. Yeah, probably. Um, so <laughs> um, you, you you when you're a fan like that, and then have the opportunity, and he said he applied for different partners. I don't know how long Will and James have been dating. I don't know. Um, but now that they're engaged, um, which they're was kind of cool. Married now. Yeah, they're probably married now because it was two years ago. But the whole thing was just really, um, you could just tell that he, they were just really prepared. Yeah. The, the whole legs, all the legs, they were just a prepared team. Mm -hmm. Like the, the, the Beard Brothers and them, both of them I felt were very prepared. Right. I, I, I just didn't see. I thought there, there's some strategy I'll get to at the end that I've talked about before, right. but we'll get to that at the end. Uh, Will and James fell on their first attempt. Again, nobody's there. Well, they, the map was right, but just wasn't put together nicely. It wasn't, so they took it. They didn't panic. Nope. 
They took it down. I'll, I'll, I think Will said, uh, James said, I just want to be out of here before any of the teams right. arrive, which is smart. smart. They finish it. They get their clue. And, you know, the, and all they have to do is go to uh, where the Saints come marching in. They have to go to the Superdome. Right. And they go in and they win the Amazing Race. And the reason I'm skipping ahead is because the other two aren't even there yet. No. So, no. Will and James win the Amazing Race. Again, they deserved it. They, Absolutely. They, they were, I agree. They were by far the most prepared team. They had the best strategy. Yes. And I heard in their extra interview that, that their plan was to get an alliance and build and go with the people that were you know, to get them there in case they made a mistake somewhere along the line because they felt once they got to the, they would, they would be successful in, mm. you know, as okay. a, te as Makes a team. Because I said early on, I said, if I was Riley and Madison or if I was these other teams, I would get, I would have gotten rid, I would have done whatever. I, I would have U-turned Will and James when I had a chance mm. because they were the team to beat. Now, I, the top three teams stayed loyal to their, their to, the uh, end. to the end. You got to give them credit for that. But to me, I'm there to win a million dollars, not make friends. True, but I, I just think when you're in that, you don't. We all could sit here and say what we would have, could have, should have done, done. You know, you probably. I don't know what I would have done once I'm in it. You know. Yeah, I mean, because it's just like okay, I gotta win. I mean, right. I, I have to win because at the end, it's just a competition. It's it's a game. Right. And if you're gonna hold the grudge that I did something to beat you, then I'm not gonna be your friend anyway. True. That's. That, I mean, I wouldn't hold it. I I might be upset at the time. Right, because you said. Um, Will and James went to somebody's wedding that they you turned. Remember at the end, what's those uh, couple that it got was, uh, uh, Leo and? Um, oh, anyway, Leo and his now wife. I can't. I can't. I'm drawing a blank too. Sorry, um, but they or that they, they two went to the Will and James' wedding. Whatever way, it was, someone and, went and to they them. said you're the I the most loved team that you turned us the most. Yeah, you're so, the yeah. So I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, it just seemed like they. And, and then of course you had. The, yeah, I got emotional when they asked him to marry him. He got engaged. Yeah, it was like, was like it was, it was, it was. You were yeah. happy for him. Yes, but it was like, okay, I'm getting a little sad here. I'm not sad. Yeah. I'm just getting emotional. And then when I saw the Beer Brothers come in, oh, my heart just broke. Yeah. Well, you had Hung and Chi. They they completed and yeah. and and, and that, this is twice that Hung has had to go do a a, a, a height challenge. And yes. She, and they they showed her a clip of her coming down. I'm sorry, Hung. It is so funny when you're you're propelling. You're walking down. <laughs> <laughs> that clip of when the first time she did it, I know you thought it was hilarious. I think I'm glad you enjoyed her torture. I, I enjoyed watching her be tortured, um, but it was it was fun. And then you like I so said, they they seemed happy to finish in yeah, second they place. Did. I mean, I, I'm probably a little disappointed because it took him so. If you know, if if the baby, if you would have found the baby right away, yeah, you're right. It could have been. Do they all did? Yeah, because literally all, all you had because they didn't. Well, they failed on their first attempt too. True. But if they would have done that right correctly, again, read the clue like they always kept not doing correctly, they could have been first. Yeah. Well, they, they had it all. I mean, it didn't. You don't know. But right. anyway, they finished in second. Then you had Riley and Madison come in, and, and they just, I mean, Riley looked just dejected. Yeah. He just, I mean, it just. But did you hear the one thing he said? He said, they're going to take some of the things they learn to, from that to play, to put apply it to their professional volleyball career. Yeah. I thought, huh, I wonder what, what that was, those things that they did learn. Maybe more teamwork. But again, if... I, as long as they can live with themselves, it's fine. But I would have gotten rid of. Um, yeah, you felt you said that right away when I asked I, you all about because you watched before I did. You asked me, all, I asked you all about it. You told me your your feelings, and that was the first thing you said I would have gotten Will, rid of Will and James. And you said that a couple times I, I said, after watching it. I, I said, I think early on, I said that, yes, I think you did too. Because even when they had a bad lit, or they had like when they couldn't do the stick shift, or they right. couldn't, when they had something. They still finished at the top. Right. They still didn't. The other thing, too, is that the Beer Brothers, didn't they finish first, like, the last three or four last, legs? last three legs, they finished first. Yeah. That's another thing. I really thought it was going to be that. When I, you I, told me it was Will and James, I was shocked. Again, if, if they would have... If Got they, a better cab. Better cab driver and not jumped out maybe so soon. Right. Maybe. But they were so far behind at the cake challenge. I mean, yeah. it took them... For, they, you know, it took them forever to find the cake. I agree with you. It okay. was so, I'm sorry. I'm to <laughs> it was so bad... They don't even show them eating the, the beignet. Oh yeah, you're right. They didn't show. There was you're some. Right. It was they, the other two teams were so far behind. They just cut out stuff. Yeah, you're they right. It was like, okay, why are we? Show, we don't need to show this. We don't need to show right. that. But overall, yeah, I thought it was an okay. I'm mean, happy. Like I said, I'm happy for Will and James. Right. I think they des deserved it. I think they were the best, most prepared team. And that's what if you're going to go in one of these things, you either go into like D'Angelo did, right. Uh, more right. of an adventure type thing, right. or you go in like Will and James. Right. No, I want to win this. Right. It's like I told you, I said, I go, let's apply. And you're like, no, you're going to get into shape first. I'm like, no, let's apply and see if we get in. Then we'll get into shape. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> that was the deal. 
Uh, we had one note on our Facebook page. Uh, Carrie Ann said, I found the final to be quite boring. The final challenge wasn't even difficult. This is definitely not my favorite season. Who knows if there'll be another one. And I agree with you, Carrie Ann. I was thinking, I go, what they did it is when they did the final four challenge where they had to line up the music thing, that should have been where the globe was. That's oh. that because they were struggling with it. And it was a, it was a, it, obviously they read the clue. It's not as tough. Right. But it was harder than putting together the globe. Right. And it, to me, I think it was the last Amazing Race where we had the three teams were actually there at the same time trying right. to figure out the, right. the challenge. To me, this I think they really dropped. I mean, not knowing we're going to have Amazing Race again. Again. I, I get, again, I just thought this was very, like, anti What is it? Anticlimatic. Yeah, it was, I just was yeah. like, oh, It's just like it was it, like, yeah. it, Again, like Carrie Ann said, it was like, yeah, it's an Amazing Race. I enjoy watching the Amazing right. Race. It's fun seeing the different right. cities. I, I enjoyed it when it first started, but as it progressed and the weeks went on, I was just like, I'm just, I mean, there just wasn't, not, I'm not into it. There wasn't a team I didn't like. No, exactly. I mean, all the teams were likable. Yep. Again, just, I, there was I, just I, no I, competition. I, there was no, it was, it, was, it was just boring. No, the, the working together again, I get it. You do you know? think what, what they, if it ever happens again, do you think um, they'll, that same thing will well, occur? Well, it's also with Phil, with Will and James, he would, he did some kind of exit interview with him and he's like, did it? Were you shocked that people were, he goes, well, we don't, you know, we don't, we were there to win. So right. it's just, we're doing what best to win. But Phil seemed like he was shocked that people were complaining about the mm. alliance. And I think what people want, they, they, they want a competition. They want, and again, that's, but it's, it's, a, up, it's, it's up. a race. And when I think, when people think race, you don't think alliances like Survivor, you get the alliances because there's, you're it's working, your, it's, you're, an it's, it's an individual, it's, but you're working on relationships. So sometimes people aren't good in relationships and communication. So they need that other person that maybe is better at that to help them and bring them along. Yeah. But with the amazing race, it's a race and it's to do things. And it's one, it's your partner against everybody else. So what was the perp the line seems and, and, like it was, it didn't make it as fun. No, it did make it as fun, but it's up to people are complaining about the amazing rates. It's not the amazing rates. It's up to people to realize, okay, who's my competition? Now, do you? Some people have that attitude. I want to beat the best. I want. Right. I want to. Me, I want to beat everybody else. I don't exactly. care. Exactly. I don't care who I'm going against. I, right. I want to beat. I want to win. Right. And I'm going to do everything I can to win. So, how did you feel about the amazing? What was your feeling? Again, it's amazing race. I I love to watch amazing race. Race. I look forward to it, but it was not the best season. Right. It was boring. Of all the seasons, I think it was our worst. And they really could have. I think. I mean, I get. I guess you don't know when you're filming it how it's going to be, but I think the final chance. It's almost like they said, "Okay, we're done." You know, oh, it's, it's to point. me. It just didn't look like they. The, all the, cha no all the, cha all the challenges it. were like, okay, you got to find a baby and a cake. You know, it, yeah. it, it's tough, but it's not like. But once they, once the teams got the lead, you could tell, like, okay, this is getting. And when you didn't, see, when you didn't see any other team at the bridge with Will and James, you're like going, all right, this is over. Yeah. And it, it, so, so when you have like 25 minutes left, and you know it's over. Yeah. It's it's. A, I wonder what the ratings are like. I haven't been checking the ratings. Okay. I mean, I. Hmm. But hopefully, hopefully it comes back again. Hopefully they mix things up. You know, like I said, like survive. There's things you can do, right, to make it where okay, you can you can be an alliance, but we're gonna right. we're gonna change things. It's around. like you know, again, I, I it's like a sports event. So when you don't have that um, feeling, when you're as the spectator watching it, and it's just like watching a boring football game or a boring tennis Baseball. match or a boring any, anything. anything anything like that, where it's just so uneventful. You, first of all, you forget about what you just saw, and then the whole thing is just—it just isn't fun. So that's why I didn't like the alliance. I didn't like some of the challenges. I didn't think were very difficult. Um, and then the last seat, the last leg, I thought it was just absolutely easy. Like they set it up. Like he, like Phil knew that he was that James was going to ask Will to marry him. It seemed like it. Yeah, yeah it just seemed like it. So I, I don't know. I just felt like I, I just didn't. I, you know, thing. It too. wasn't horrible. No, it wasn't horrible. Obviously, because like, we watched it to the end. But it, it just, it was definitely, I would agree with Carrie Ann, it was just an absolute boring season. Yeah, to me, it's just like. And if they do it again, I don't know if I'm going to keep watching it. Yeah, That's yeah. why I kind of stopped with Survivor. The same reason, not to not to trash Survivor, but I felt like they picked the same, you know, same group of people. Beautiful, talented. I don't know how I know. Um, right. I know how. Old person, old woman, older man, middle aged person, yeah. a doctor, a lawyer, a, a regular Joe, a this and that, and it's the same group of contestants that they bring together. And I'm just like, it's just to me, I stopped watching it for that reason. And it, it just, I, I don't want to. It's, 
I don't want to, if I'm going to watch a read thing of over and over, I'm going to watch shows that I enjoy watching it five, six times, like well, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> the Alliance, to me, only benefited one team, and that's Will and James. Correct. Because they, they, their goal was to get top three. Correct. And they, they figured once they got top three, because they were so good. I mean, let me, right. again, I said earlier, if they, even when they had it, oh, they're screwed now. They, they messed up. Right. They still finished in the top yeah. five. True. So the Alliance... If I'm in a, if I know, okay, I'm a, you know, if I, if I, if I could be in the race and have an alliance of three and that got me to the final three, I don't care. I don't, I don't care what the true. viewers, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't care what the viewers think. I'm true. there who win a million dollars. That's true. And so if, if I get to the top three, that gives me a one in three chance of obviously winning a million dollars. I've done my job. I don't want to be that, because you know, everyone, but again, Will and Jim never seem to really have a bad leg. No. They always just seem to. They were just, I think probably one of the most prepared teams I think I've ever seen an amazing race. The I one mean, where, where James struggled with the, they had, he had to match the uh, Kings with the thing and he was struggling with it and couldn't figure it out. But they kept you turning the blondes. Everyone, because that was the, right. that's where they said, okay, we need, let's get rid of Will and James. Right. Boom. Right. And that's when you could have done it. Right. But it didn't happen. Congratulations to Will and James. Yes. You are the new champions of the amazing, amazing race. And hopefully not the last team to win. Yeah, I, I think it'll come back. Yeah, I do. But we'll see what we'll happens. We'll see in time. And thanks for everyone who watches and everyone who put up with us. And our lateness all the time. And we wish all our our, 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 our podcasters, all our patrons, and all people that watch, our viewers, or listeners, whoever you want to call all of us, uh, a wonderful holiday season. Um, and a very, very happy, um, and wish you all a very blessed, happy uh, and new be, year. And be safe. And be safe. And we all hope that 2021 20, 20 will all be a good year for everybody. Um, and we wish you all we, the we best. All, we all need it. We we do, but it could be worse. I always say it could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. I'm a, I'm have my health. I have you. I'm not alone. So I hope you all have somebody special in your life, <laughs> so you don't feel alone. If not, you know, you can bug Jack. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I can take it. There you go. I don't know. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye.